The Apostle Paul's greatest desire was to get to know our loving Savior, Jesus Christ, much better. Would you like to know Him? Listen to this devotional. That I May Know Him, a devotional by Ellen G. White, The Measure of Character. Charity suffereth long and is kind, charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 through 7. Through his inspired apostle, Christ has presented to us the measure of the character that is imbued with the love of Christ. We are to bear the marks of Christ. We are to have his likeness. This example is given us that we may know the possibilities, the heights we may reach in and through Christ. The standard he presents is perfection in him, and through his merits we may attain to it. We come short because we are content to look at earthly things rather than at heavenly. It is by beholding Christ that we are changed from glory to glory. The eye that views common things needs to be elevated. No man has yet measured the nature of God or the character of his Son. We must have a knowledge of God by living experience. This life is our time of probation. We are placed under the discipline and government of God to form characters and acquire habits for the higher life. We shall be subject to heavy trials, opposition, bereavement, affliction, but we know that Jesus passed through all these. These experiences are valuable to us. The advantages are not by any means confined to this short life. They reach into eternal ages. All the scenes of this life in which we must act a part are to be carefully studied, for they are part of our education. We should bring solid timbers into our character building, for we are working both for this life and eternal life. And as we near the close of this earth's history, we advance more and more rapidly in Christian growth, or we retrograde just as decidedly. Mercy and truth have met together in Christ, and righteousness and peace have embraced each other. It is when you are looking to His throne, offering up your penitence and praise and thanksgiving to God, that you perfect Christian character and represent Christ to the world. You abide in Christ, and Christ abides in you.